Wow, back again with another concert vlog. Look at me go. So we're gonna make this super quick, this intro super quick because I really have to get on the road. But today I'm going to see NCT Dream in Atlanta. We're doing a super, super quick trip. It is 8.43 a.m. currently and I need to be back here by 9 a.m. tomorrow. So we are literally spending less than 24 hours in Atlanta and my drive today is about three and a half hours, so. Love that for us. I'm going to see NCT Dream. I am so excited. This trip is super last minute, super crazy. I literally was in State Farm Marina like two or three weeks ago to see, oh man, come on. Okay, that guy next to me wouldn't leave. So now we're getting gas and filming this intro at the same time. So my gas is going and I'm filming this intro. Not a last minute decision. I bought tickets like right when they went on sale, um, but I couldn't get the full day off today, which is why we're doing that. But the past two times, any member of NCT or any unit of NCT has been in the States, I have not gone. And I was like, I'm gonna go this time. <laughs> like, I'm really gonna go this time. So that's why we're doing this. I feel like it won't be too bad. My hotel is like 30 minutes outside of the city, which is nice because it's a shorter drive um, to get to the hotel. I'll just have to drive farther to get to the venue. You know the drill, we already got our parking figured out. I always book my parking online. Um, even if it's sold out on like Ticketmaster, the lot I use, I can still usually get it on the State Farm website, so I just buy from the State Farm website. It's like $15 cheaper to buy it online compared to just like driving up and buying it there. So yeah, we're doing that. We're gonna see the Dreamies. Uh, I'm really excited to see them. I actually bought a ticket that wasn't so great and then I ended up rebuying, like buying a resale ticket on SeatGeek last night, which is the first time I've used SeatGeek for resale. So. I'm hoping it all works out okay. It looks okay, <laughs> um, but it's a much better seat than what I originally bought, which kind of sucks because the original seats were like really expensive and these were like really, really cheap. But the only reason I did it is because it's a much better view and it was like $300 cheaper than my original <laughs> ticket. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I think my gas is done, so let's get on the road. Let's do it. I really should have been on the road like 45 minutes ago, so let's go. We made it to Atlanta, so we're here. I'm actually staying on a different side of the city than I normally stay, so yeah, because the hotel I normally stay at was booked. So yeah, let me give you a little hotel room tour before I forget. Also, I've had a lot of coffee. I'm literally shaking right now. <laughs> so much coffee today. I'm staying at a Marriott, so yeah, this is the front door, closet little mirror as you walk in and then here is the room i've got my i just brought like an overnight bag it literally has like pajamas my concert outfit and my work clothes in it and like nothing else <laughs> literally that's it um and we got a tv and a desk over here i'm gonna try to edit a reel real quick um before i start getting ready and this is the bed area. Yep, just threw all my stuff down there. And we've got a beautiful view of, I think that, is this I-85? I don't know. We got a beautiful view of the highway that I just spent the past three and a half hours on. But so yeah, this hotel is like 30 minutes from the venue. Not even, I looked it up when I got here. It's 22 minutes. So yeah, I posted a video like an hour ago. So I just did all of my like Instagram and Twitter sharing for that. So I want to edit a reel real quick that I meant to edit last night and then I went to bed too late so I couldn't edit it. And then we're going to start getting ready. It's only like one o'clock right now so I want to get over there by like 3.34 is what I'm thinking. Just because I want to like hang outside for a little bit. I got to see what time doors open actually because I think doors might open at five. I want to get there before doors open because I want to get like freebies and stuff and that's like more of an outside activity. I don't want to get there too early because I'm going alone. <laughs> so I don't wanna be like spending too much time outside by myself. We're gonna edit this reel real quick. It should only take me like 20 minutes or so. Reels are so easy to edit. And then I'm gonna get ready. I don't think it'll take me that long to get ready. I'm not doing anything crazy, but yeah, I really like this hotel. I am a little nervous just cause I've stayed at some like really sketchy hotels in Atlanta. So I'm really nervous every time I try out a new hotel, but I don't know, this one seems pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was like the guy at the front desk was like what are you here for and I was like oh I'm here for a concert 
and he was like oh there's a concert going on there was a concert two weeks ago and i had like no idea but somebody told me about it he's like i never know when there's concerts going on and i was like i was thinking like oh yeah i was at that concert two weeks ago too so yeah also i took a photo um of like my stray kids photo cards two two or three weeks ago whenever i was here in atlanta for stray kids um, so I need to recreate that photo with Jano. It's just a plan that I've had, so I'm gonna do that. So that's what we're gonna do. And the guy was like, oh yeah, so the food opens at five tomorrow. And I was just like, I'm planning on leaving before that. So <laughs> I won't be here at 5 a.m. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so early tomorrow, but it was a really easy drive. So I'm hoping tomorrow is also an easy drive. And also I need to stop shaking. Like I need to either set a tripod up or just stop shaking. Okay, I'm gonna go edit this reel now. All right, we are all ready. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love it. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover here because honestly, I am not the most positive in these clips talking about my outfit. And I really think that it was just like me having too much caffeine that morning and not enough food. Actually, right after I filmed this clip, I did have some lunch. I brought like a Trader Joe's wrap with me and I ate it before I went to the concert. Um, but yeah, I'm just like not the most positive in these clips and I just didn't really want that negative energy on the internet, but I did want you to see my outfit. Um, but yeah, I had some lunch, I drank some water and then I was fine. I just think that like, I had had too much caffeine that day. I was a little nervous about the whole trip and so just made me a little anxious and yeah, but honestly I was fine and it's just a reminder to be kind to yourself because yeah, I didn't want to be negative towards myself in this video. So yeah, I felt fine the whole concert. I had a great time. Just a reminder to be kind to yourself because you're your biggest critic, but you're also your biggest supporter. So you get to make that choice if you're going to support yourself or be critical of yourself. And in this voiceover, I am choosing to support myself. And I think that I looked great. Was it the most extravagant outfit ever? No, but like I still had a great time. I felt super comfortable in this outfit and that's honestly the most important thing. So anyways, let's go back to, um, past Carolyn. Anyways, let me finish this TikTok and then we'll go. We made it. Having some serious deja vu because I literally just did this. I know I keep saying that. I'm just not used to doing concerts like this close together, like this many concerts. And so I'm just like, anyways, I'm in the parking garage, parking lot, whatever. Um, merch opens at two, it's 3.30. So I'm going to head up there and then honestly like if merch doesn't take that long i feel like i didn't see a lot of people walking around um but if merch doesn't take that long i'll probably like come back to my car and hang out i'll probably come back to my car and drop stuff off because doors don't even open till six so like what am i gonna do this whole time you know my parking reservation technically didn't even start till six o'clock but they let me in so i was like hey thanks for that <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna go up and see what there is to see buy some merch um apparently there's random photo cards so we're gonna try to get channels yeah i think i want a hoodie too but i think a hoodie is 90 dollars, and i don't know if i'm in the mood to spend 90 dollars on a hoodie today we'll see how i feel when i get up there okay bye one hour later hi i'm back i came back to my car i've been sitting here for maybe like 15 minutes um just because i park across the street and doors don't open for another hour and a half and i was like i'm just gonna go find somewhere to sit and I decided to come sit in my car. So anyways, I went and I got merch. I ended up just getting a t-shirt because what's this is the front of it. Anyways, so you get like photo card, like a random photo card if you buy a t-shirt. And I wanted a crew neck too, but the crew necks they only had in like not my size. And I was just like, oh, I really don't want that. Anyways, I might see inside if they have like additional merch. Like I know that for Stray Kids, they had merch for like pre-sale outside and then they had like inside merch. So we'll see if that's any different. I'm probably gonna go back up in like another 20 minutes or so and just stand there for like an hour. But I just wanted to like come hang out for a little bit cause it's just a long time to be up there. So yeah, you had to buy a t-shirt, which kind of sucks. Cause I think that like, you should just have been able to buy any sort of clothing item. But anyways, I pulled Jamin as my photo card. He is really cute. I brought a sleeve and a top loader because I knew I was going to be buying something that had um, a random photo card in it. So yeah, this is what Jamin's card looks like. I posted on Twitter to see if anyone wants to trade for Jano because he's the only member of Dream I collect. But I think a lot of people haven't gotten their like merch yet. It'll probably be better inside. 
um but right now i see like nobody trading like nobody's like looking for these cards or anything so hopefully i can find a trade at some point today um i'm gonna keep looking um but if not then i will just post it on instagram when i get home but really would like to have Jano's equivalent of this since I like went to the show you know but yeah I might try to get in the merch line again when I go inside um I definitely want to get food because I'm definitely hungry yeah I thought I had a protein bar in my car and I do not have a protein bar in my car that's pretty sad but yeah the hoodies the merch was like okay it's like not my favorite merch I like the crew neck a lot I think it's really really cute but like I said they didn't have it in my size so I just didn't get it I will catch up to you guys um, later at some point. hotel i've got my aqo hoodie on and i'm ready to go to bed because i have to wake up in like five hours to leave for work but i wanted to say real quick dream was so good literally the set list was flawless it was the best set list ever and they're all such great performers too like i would be sitting there like we've literally done six songs in a row like are you not tired um but yeah they were super super good um i had such a fun time i met so many of you guys and i was thinking on my drive back to the hotel i was like i love doing what i do like i love social media i love youtube like i really do love it so much um and one of the reasons i love it is because when i go to things like this by myself like i literally knew not a single soul walking into there today and which is fine like i don't mind going to concerts alone but i met up with like a couple people like who like knew me from my channel and it just felt like we were already besties and it was just so nice like so many people came up and like said hello and it was just so cute so also we did the trading cards i did end up getting Jano's, so let me show you that real quick yeah so i found someone to trade with so we did get Jano's card which i was gonna just try to trade on like instagram if i didn't get it but i'm really happy i was able to trade at the show that was super fun um yeah i really want more k-pop groups to do things like that because that was really fun to be able to like trade photo cards at the concert but yeah i gotta go to bed so <laughs> i gotta finish packing and then i gotta go to bed i know i'm not gonna want to pack at 4 a.m but yeah dream were super good um i will do like a whole video section talking about the whole concert but um i wanted to throw a slow clip in there they were amazing i love them so much i am so happy i was able to see them this year like i'm so so happy and it was just like such a huge like k-pop bucket list item for me was to see any member any unit of nct live i mean i've seen super m any of the nct unit so i really want to see 127 i would love to see wavy as well if they came um but yeah definitely gonna go see dream again if they come back because they were just such a good show but yeah i'll have more to say in a couple days when i have proper sleep in me so let's go over to that carolyn i'm jealous of her i know i'm gonna be so tired in the morning but you know what 
it was worth it. This is like one of the, not the dumbest thing I've done for K-pop, but one of the dumbest things I've done for K-pop is to like go to a concert, literally leave at 4 a.m. to make it to my nine to five on time. I had so much fun today and I know I would have regretted it if I hadn't come. Like I said, I have missed Dream, or I've missed NCT the past two times 127 came and I was like, I cannot miss Dream and I will not miss 127 next time they come. But also, I don't know the next time I'm gonna be in State Farm Arena. I was thinking about that too, because when I saw I left Stray Kids a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh, State Farm Arena, like see you in a couple weeks. And that's the venue I've been to the most, um, like of any venue anywhere. Um, so it's just like kind of sad. I'm just like, oh man, <laughs> when's the next time I'm gonna see State Farm Arena? Uh, probably sooner than I think. Okay, I really gotta go now, goodbye. Hello, um, it's been two weeks since the last clip that you saw, but I'm finally sitting down and editing this video. Something about like getting up at 4 a.m. the day after a concert and then like covering your coworkers opening shift all week and then just like spending the weekend recovering from the concert you went to the previous weekend just kind of makes you put off editing this video, but we're editing it finally. So I wanted to film a little talking clip. I got there really early and I, I didn't know because the merch started at two o'clock or three o'clock or something. So I was like, oh, I wanna get there like in time for merch because I really wanna get um, a photo card that when you bought a t-shirt you got a photo card and I was like I don't know how long the line's gonna be like I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of people trying to get these photo cards and they're gonna run out if I wait till I get like inside the venue so I decided to go like super early so I got ready I finished editing what I was gonna edit and then I headed out turns out I was there like too early <laughs> so first of all I got there at like three so March had been open for like an hour the line was really not that long. I really only stood in line for like maybe 45 minutes, which I had been at the same venue prior for Stray Kids and I stood in line for like two hours. So I was expecting a super long line because that's what I had done a couple weeks prior, but whatever. So then I just like hung out for a little bit, but it was just so early because the venue didn't open till 6.30. And I feel like previously it's like, when I've been to other concerts at that venue, it's been like five o'clock or 5.30. So I just like didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> um, I didn't want to leave my car or I didn't want to leave my parking spot because I had paid for parking and I didn't know if they'd let me back in. So I was like, mm, I don't really want to leave. So I ended up like hanging out in my car, which is what you saw. And then I got out at like five-ish cause I was like, well, I'll stand in line for like an hour. I'll get some more freebies and then I'll go ahead and go in. Um, so I was standing in this line for a while um, I also saw them move because there's like all this drama with the Atlanta show, right? Um, if you are on Stan Twitter, you know, <laughs> you probably saw it, but I did see, I did see like, um, GA get moved into the parking garage that I stood in for, for ATs, which was like one of the worst like concert experiences of my life was like GA for ATs and I didn't even camp. <laughs> I didn't even camp. I don't camp. I didn't camp for ATs. Um, but that GA pit was like scary in the sense of like people passed out around me. We didn't have access to like food or water, like literally all day in the middle of November, like literally Thanksgiving. Um, and so that's the reason I didn't do GA for Dream was because I didn't want to experience that again. And also I knew I was just like driving in, going to the concert, leaving. I didn't want to worry about like my spot in pit or anything like that. I just wanted to like go and enjoy the concert. Um, so when I found out that they ended up sending GA to the same parking garage that I stood in for ATs, I just had like flashbacks to the war of like the cold parking garage. It was just, uh, it was just not my favorite experience. And I really hate that State Farm like puts people there. There's gotta be a better way. Like there has to be another place you can put people for GA before GA. Like. I don't know if anybody important will ever see this video, but like, we gotta do something about that. <laughs> we have to do something about that. The show started at eight. I was like, I wanna have so much time like before the concert, um, which I like having a lot of time before I can go in because I like to talk to people. I like to get freebies, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, for my photo card, I ended up pulling Jamin and then I found a trade for Jano. So yeah, this is Jano's US tour card. Um, I did store it in a recent photo card sorting video, so. Yeah, but I'm really happy I was able to find a trade at the venue. I was really hoping I could avoid like doing trades for this on Instagram. Here's the back because we don't get keep backs on this channel. <laughs> this is the back. But you know, 
if you know anything about me and my channel, I am a photo card collector. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a photo card that's like exclusive to the tour that I'm attending. Like, you're not gonna stop me. <laughs> I'm gonna get the photo card, right? I was standing in line, got a couple freebies. I'll show that like a little later. And I ended up, we ended up getting like moved. Um, so instead of going in like the main entrance, which is where we were all standing in line to like get in for, they ended up like bringing us inside, keeping us like in this back area, which I was like, gee, I really should be here. Like, gee, I really should be standing inside. Like, why are the seated people standing inside and gee, I are in a parking garage? Like, you know, not that we should have been in the parking garage. I didn't want to be in the parking garage <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah i was just kind of like this is really weird that you have this like whole space and you couldn't have put like ga here i understand that the way that that venue is set up like they want to avoid as much as possible people running downstairs and the only way from like the entrance that i went in that you could get to floor would be to go down all of the stairs um and if people are trying to get barricade like they're pushing each other like it's an accident waiting to happen i understand that but there's gotta be a better way. I'm just gonna keep saying that about the State Farm Arena. Like I will never do GA. I don't care who's coming. I'm not gonna do GA at that venue because yeah. Standing in line, I ended up meeting some people who recognize my channel. I met a lot of people who recognize my channel, which is always so crazy to me. And I love seeing you guys in person. Like I met some people who said that they've joined my group orders before and it was just like, it was so exciting. I love putting like names to faces. And so like, if I ever meet you, like I will try to ask for your name just because I'm just like trying to, you know, put names to faces because yeah, everybody who like comments on my videos, I see you as your profile picture, like your little picture of Kihan. Like, I think I just have a bunch of like little Kihans following me. So it's really awesome to get to meet people like in real life and to see people at concerts. And I love that so much. I ended up meeting a couple people like in my line and we all like hung out together and like took like pictures of our light sticks and stuff and got some food before the concert because I went inside and once I was inside I went straight to merch because I was like one of the first people being let in on that side and so I was like well let me go look at the merch table because there's no line and I'm just gonna ask if they have um like the crew neck the size of the crew neck that I wanted and they were missing an entire shipment of merch so that's why there was like no merch they said they were getting another shipment at eight o'clock or like nine o'clock or something. And the guy was like, stop back after the show. And I was like, I'm not going to do that. And like after the show, I'm just going to want to go home because I have to get up at 4 a.m. and drive to work. So probably not going to hang around and try to buy merch after the show. That kind of sucked because I really did want that crew neck. Also, I was there so early and I could not for the life of me find anybody handing out banners. And I think it's because whoever was in the banner project, I think a lot of those people um were floor like whoever was part of that project i don't know for sure but that would be the only explanation for like why i couldn't find a single person handing out banners is because the banners like project managers were floor um which kind of sucks for ga because yeah i just was like oh, i really i really i have a banner wall i'm actually moving it right now but it used to be like right here and I usually put up all the banners I get from all the concerts I go to. And so the fact that I don't have one for NCT Dream just like makes me really sad. Yeah, I thought about reaching out to like the project managers to see if they had extras, but I don't know. I don't know, I just never did. <laughs> so ended up getting some food, got a drink, and then I went to my seat and I had bought, like I'm sure you've seen all over TikTok and Twitter, people buying seats last minute that were super cheap. My seat was originally four times the amount of money that I got my other seat for like the morning of or the night before the night before I went to Atlanta which was the day before the concert I bought a different ticket um, from somebody on SeatGeek who was selling like eight tickets in a row and I bought one of those and the thing is they weren't able to sell all of those tickets because <laughs> when I got to my spot it was a much better view than like what I was going to get and that's because like ticket sales were kind of crazy at first. And so I just kind of grabbed what I could get. And then I was like, oh, I'll just upgrade it later. Like it's fine. Um, yeah, I ended up upgrading to a really, really nice seat. And, and it was just really nice because in that row, there was one person like two seats over from me. And then there was one person like three seats over from me on the opposite side, which means that they weren't able to sell all those tickets, which also means my seat was like, 
on the, the catwalk kind of. So kind of in between the main stage and the B stage. And it was nice because you could see both stages really well from where I was sitting. Um, and also because it was me and three other people in like 10, eight or 10 seats. When they were on the main stage, we all kind of scooted towards the main stage. And when they were on the B stage, we all kind of scooted towards the B stage to like get a better view. Yeah, sometimes I'm really good about talking to the people around me. But this time I really wasn't and I don't know what what, what was going on with me that day. <laughs> I think I was just nervous to see the dreamies but usually I'm like trying to chat with people around me to like make friends or whatever but I don't know I guess I was just like nervous that day or whatever so didn't end up like making friends with the people sitting in my row but we did all come to like a mutual agreement that like if they were on the main stage we could all scoot one way and then for the B stage scoot the other way. The show started and it was really pretty like all of the the neobongs which I have been wanting to use this Neobong for so long. Um, it's really funny because I bought this when I saw Super M. Like I bought this the day I saw Super M and I didn't use it for Super M because I used the Super M light stick that day. But I was like, oh, next time I see NCT, like I'm gonna have a light stick. Fast forward to 2023, literally four years after I bought this, because I bought this in 2019. Um, I'm finally seeing Dream and finally get to use this light stick, which is really exciting. Um, so, but seeing all of these light up and then also like all the other SM light sticks were synced with the Neobong. So like a person in the row in front of me had an EXO light stick and it was doing the same colors. And I guess uh, I saw some like tweets of people who were near people who had like red velvet light sticks and things and they all like were synced together, which makes for a really cool performance. And I think it makes it really fun for like SM stands. So like people who like multiple SM groups um, because you can bring your SM group light stick to any of the SM idols like concerts and it'll work for it, which is so fun. Um, that was really fun. It was really pretty. Like all of the green was really pretty. The like intro was super pretty. Um, the whole concept of the, of the concert was really pretty. I didn't see too many spoilers from the Soul concert, but I did watch the NCT Dream movie, <laughs> which inspired me and made me want like concert tickets to see them in concert. After seeing that movie, I was like, I gotta see them. Like there's no, no way, like I gotta see them. And it was like Dream's, Dream's first time in the US, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's at least their first time in the US since covid right like they haven't dream hasn't been like hey chad and mark have been but like not not the rest of the dreamies but yeah the concert was really long <laughs> like i wasn't expecting it to be that long it was a really long show but it was a really good show nct dream's stamina is like unmatched like it was insane because they would do like five or six songs in a row and then they would just stand there and they wouldn't even be out of breath and i'd be like that's not real. <laughs> like, you guys are not real. Like that's insane. I will say that they utilized the B stage a lot more than the main stage, which was a little disappointing because I figured they would use the main stage more, which is why I got my seat where I did. Um, but I spent a lot of time staring at the backs of them. There was even one song um, where they were sitting at the end of the stage and staring out into the audience, but I was behind them. So I was just staring at their backs. And like when they did their intro, their first intro, they were standing at the B stage and I was like, I wish I had known that because then I would have been more towards the B stage, I think, um, like in front of the B stage so that I could have seen the B stage better. But yeah, I think some of my favorite stages were Stronger was one of my favorite stages. I love that song. That's like one of my favorite NCT Dream B-sides ever. I freaking love that song. So Dreaming also is one of my favorite B-sides from NCT Dream. I didn't realize that was on the set list until like that morning when I was driving to Atlanta. So was super excited to see that song. I tend to listen to like a set list playlist before I see a group live, but I'll listen to it on shuffle so that I won't know what order the songs are going in, but I'll like know what songs are going to perform, you know? Um, especially for groups that aren't my alts, just in case there's like a B-side I haven't heard in like a long time I can like listen to it and be like oh I remember this song like so I'll know it for the concert. Dive Into You was also one of my favorite performances. It was a song I hadn't heard in a while but I loved that song when it came out so I was just like oh my gosh like seeing that song I was so great. Also like the Quiet Down performance classic like <laughs> I feel like anybody who does a video like this is gonna be like the Quiet Down performance. It was just so funny to be watching it on Easter Sunday too to be like 
you know, some people were in a church this morning. I'm just in an NCT Dream concert watching this. Like, that's fine. Saturday Drip is also one of my favorite B-sides. Better Than Gold was a song that I thought I was going to be pretty mad about seeing live. I know that a lot of people really, really love it, but it's not like my favorite song from them. But seeing it live really changed my perspective on the song because I'm like obsessed with it now. I listen to it literally all the time. Um, listening to Go and Boom and Ride In live and Hello Future actually was the song that when I saw it performed in the movie, I was like, I have to see that song live. Like I have to go to the concert and see that song live. So, oh, so, so good. Also Chewing Gum live. I went crazy for Chewing Gum. I was so excited to see that song live. But yeah, overall I walked out of there and I was like, that was like the best set list. <laughs> <laughs> like there was not a bad song on that set list that they performed every song was just so good and I just felt like I was like losing my mind the entire time because the song choices were just impeccable like they were just so good <laughs> and like everything was performed so well and like there were like obviously my bias is Jano but there were a lot of members I saw there that I was like oh my gosh like you're the most precious thing like like Renjin I love him. <laughs> I've always loved him, but I love him. And then Chunla, he's so cute. And his hair, oh my gosh. And then like Jamin is just like, I just want to protect Jamin. I don't know like what he's doing half the time, but I just want to protect Jamin with my entire life. And then like, I've seen Mark before, um, but I love Mark Lee so much. Like I saw him at the, um, the Super M concert. So it wasn't my first time seeing Mark in person, but I just was like, oh, I just love Mark so much. Like, but yeah, they were all super great. Chi Song was so cute. Um, Hei Chan, Hei Chan was like the most popular member of the night. Like a bunch of people were like Hei Chan bias there that I met, which like love that for Hei Chan, literally love that for him. But it was just crazy. Like he introduced himself and the crowd went wild. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, there were a lot of Hei Chan stands there, but Hei Chan is like, so cute. I literally love him and I love them all. Did I mention everybody? I think so. Everybody did so good. Everybody sounded so good. Like the choreography for everything was great. The performances for everything was so pretty. There was like fireworks going and they had like the little stair stages that they pushed out. And then of course they had the boxes for like quiet down. And I just feel like there was so much like that was put into it. And then of course seeing Candy live, like I have been a K-pop fan for a really long time, since 20, 2009, I've been a K-pop fan. And so obviously I know like the old version of Candy, like the the original version of Candy. Um, so it's not a song I ever thought I would see in person ever because like, yeah, but I love seeing Candy live. I just like, I love that song so much. It's such a fun song. E everything was just like so, so amazing. Um, and then I went home drove back to my hotel. Um, I looked at the merch stand and I didn't stay for the merch. I ended up just going back to my hotel. I was gonna order food too, but it, by the time we got out of there, it was like 11, 11, 10, 11, 15, I think by the time I got back to my car. And I got back to my car pretty quickly because I was like, I gotta get up at 4 a.m. Like I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I gotta go to bed right now. So yeah, that, but overall it was a really, really fun show. I'm really glad I went. Like I'm really, really glad that I went. Um, and I woke up at 4 a.m. the next morning and I, it was so funny because I got back full concert fit. I got back to my hotel and I like went and grabbed a snack and like a water bottle from downstairs in the lobby of my hotel. And that same front desk person was there at 4 a.m. when I came back in my work uniform. And I was like, hey, checking out. And he was just like, didn't I just like see you in like full on K-pop concert outfit? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Actually, we didn't have that conversation. We had a very minimal conversation because it was 4 a.m. and we were both like, why are we both awake right now? <laughs> but yeah, I stopped and I got some coffee and I did make it back to Charlotte by I think like 8.30 or nine. I think it was closer to nine o'clock when I got back to Charlotte, but we made it back for the nine to five. Was it something I would do and recommend to others to do every time they go to Atlanta who live in the Carolinas? No, I would not recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> um, was I on four cups of caffeine that day? I was. I drank a lot of caffeine that day. Um, did I feel like death the next day? I did, but that's okay. Because it was worth it for me to see Dream because I almost didn't go because I couldn't get that Monday off. But thankfully I was able to like switch shifts with a coworker so I wasn't off. Um, but I still was able to go 
and had time to drive back the next morning to like do a full day of work. It was just a really, really great concert. Um, and I definitely am so glad that I went. Like I really wanted to make dream work and I made it work and I was just so excited about that I made it work. Um, but yeah, let me show you a little bit about what I got while I was there. So first of all, I didn't get this other concert, but I don't think I ever really showed you fully like this is a close up of what my Neil Long looks like. I'll go ahead and write which Etsy shops I got which thing from. The decal I got in a different place than the ribbon, but they're both from Etsy. Um, I know that the concert is over now, but like for the next time the Neos are here, I definitely think I'm gonna try and get like Johnny and Jungwoo on the other sides, plain and CT, but then do Johnny and Jungwoo so I have all three of my biases on here. Or if Sung Chan ever gets to come to the US, <laughs> then we'll add Sung Chan here because he's part of my bias line too, but they don't do anything. <laughs> you had to buy a t-shirt in order to get a photo card. So this is the one that I ended up buying. Um, so yeah, it was my favorite of the t-shirts I had available. I'm not really a concert t-shirt girly. I am a crew neck or a sweatshirt girly, but I was gonna do what it took to get the photo card. So I bought a t-shirt. And then obviously I showed you the Jano photo card I got with that. This was the first freebie pack I got. <laughs> it was on the other side. The person was handing these out like when I was still outside in line waiting to get in. The person was standing outside handing these out, um, these little packs. So I told them that my bias was Jano and the person next to me got one of these and was like, oh my gosh, 17 photo card. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. There's 17 photo card in here. <laughs> um, here's another photo of Jano and then a little candy sticker. Um, and then of course I get the one with Monsta X. <laughs> it was so funny, but this is the, um, the person who handed out these freebies, very cute. The next set of freebies I got was this photo card of Jano with like the candy back, which is so cute. Oh no, this is Jisung, I'm sorry. But yeah, and then there was a little, hope you had the best we hope you have fun and enjoy seeing the dreamies. And then this is the person who did these freebies. And what else? Oh, and then I got this one little pack, which like they used top loaders and like hollow sleeves, very fancy. Um, but yeah, so here is a little channel photo card. This is the back of it. Um, I don't remember who I got these from and they didn't include their username, but yeah, I didn't get as, uh, and then I got one of these like little rubber band things too. <laughs> and I didn't get any confetti cause I wasn't floor. So that was sad, <laughs> but overall I had a really good time. I'm really glad I went and saw the dreamies and I definitely loved having a seat. Like I really did love having a seat and I'm really happy I didn't do GA. Just gonna be honest about it. But I heard that a lot of people who like got there late for GA still had a really good view. And I think especially like, I don't know about all the venues, but especially in that venue, I feel like it would have been really easy to have a really good view of the stage, even if you were in the back of pit. Um, so when I got there, I was like, is it too late to buy just like a pit ticket and just walk down and be in the pit? But um, yeah, it didn't look like pit was like too overly full, which was good. So um, yeah. But that was my little vlog on NCT Dream's concert. The next concert I'm going to is TXT in May in Charlotte. And I'm so excited to not travel for it. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to not travel for it. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to that concert. But yeah, that was it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you went to the Dreamies and saw them. I know that they were in Europe before they came to the States too. So if you went to the Europe stops or you went to the US stops, or did they do Asia stops before? I think they did Asia stops too. So yeah, if you went to any of those, let me know how your experience was in the comments down below. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.